Hi, I'm Winnie. Um, I'm going to talk about IE 2027 and Dr. David Goldberg's um, homework set one. And um, this is uh, question one, and and I'm going to assume you already read the question. So uh, we're playing baseball and observe the first three pitches. The pitches could be um, either hit, strike, or ball, and each pitch is independent from other pitches. So um, let's find out the sample spaces. The sample uh, sample space um, we got like 27 of them because we got three blank here, and uh, either uh, each one could be a uh, three outcome: hit, strike, and ball. So um, based on the um, multiplication rule. Um, it's three times three times three, which is twenty-seven, and the sample space um, should look like some some set of um, three combined, blah blah blah, and it could be a lot, but I didn't write it out. So um, uh, I think you guys uh, you guys um, should write out your own, and if you don't know if it's right, just compare it to the uh, solution, uh, homework one solution from um, Dr. David Gober. So, um, event one is the event that at least we have one ball. So it could be a ball or two ball or three ball in any position. One of them. So there are actually nineteen of them, and um, you can write it out and count it. There is a um, there there are nineteen of them. So event two is um at least have one strike. So like these, uh, we have strike here and strike here, and three strikes counts. So any place if it's have strike, it counts. So also this one as well have nineteen um, outcomes. And also so um, uh, E one um, the com complement of E one is gonna equal the sample space minus E one, which is eight. So, so E1 is the complement of um, there is at least one ball. So the complement is no no ball at all. So um, there is only eight uh, eight events that have no ball at all. So also for E2 E2 component um, complement. So the complement of E2 have no strike. So it's a uh, eight um, eight possible um, event. Um, so um, for E1, Union E2, so those are everything in both E1 and E2, and combine them. So there are actually 26 of them. So there's only one uh, exception, which is a, a hit, 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 because in this set, there is no ball or strike. So this set is not in E1 or E2. So mm, this is an exception. So E1 union E2 equal 26, which is 27 minus 1. So E1 uh, intercept E2 are those sets are both in E1 and E2. So that means in the E1 intersect E2, there have to be at least one ball and one strike. So there is 12 of them. Um, so now we um, we compute the po probability of each of them. So probably probability of each of them is uh, quite simple. It's just the number of the events divided by the sample space. So for p probability of e1 is 19 over 27. So probability of e2 is 19 over 27 as well. So the um, probability of Mm, complement of E1 and complement E2 is 8 over 27. So probability of um, U E1 union E2 is 26 over 27, and E1 intersect um, E2 is 12 over 27. Okay, so question two. Uh, we got a party and dinner served. Um, there is a large table for um, 50 guests. So we're actually assigned the guests, assigned seatings. So uh, we're looking for how many possible assignments are there to assign 50 people. So let's start with this table. So I draw a table and starts from here. For this single seat, we have 50 choice to assign um, someone here. 
So if we sign the first one and then we came to the second seat, we have uh, 49 choices left. So which is 49 and then move to the third one, fourth one and so on. So actually w uh, with the multiplication rule, um, the choices we're gonna have is 50 times 49 times 48 times 47 blah blah all the way to 1. So mm, this guy here is equal to 50 mm, factorial. So that is um, the number of um, possible ways to uh, assign 50 people to 50 seats. So I call that event 1. And um, now we have uh, question 2. Uh, we call that event 2 which is um, for any assignment, um, uh, if there are just rotation of one another, we count at that as one. So here, I, I made an example here. So, like, uh, well, I'm gonna just simplify this situation, like one, two, three, four, five people here. So, um, this is one situation that from one, two, three, four, five here, and then when we rotate this table, Ro rotate these seats. We get one, two, three, four, five, and then ro rotate that again. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. And for this one, if we rotate that again, it's gonna just come back to the first one. So for five, mm, five people here, uh, when we rotate these, um, these are gonna count as individual assignment in the event one, but in event two. Um, these just count as one assignment. So there are five reputation for um, one assignment. So um, when we come back to the um, the question we have here, 50 people. So um, for 50 people, the assignment gonna have um, 50 reputations. So event two, I'm just sim uh, simply um use um event one divided by fifty because each uh, each assignment have fifty uh, reputations, so the answer for event two is fifty factorial over fifty, so it actually can be written as um forty nine factorial. So question number three, uh, we are playing poker and uh, we receive five cards um, from a hand. So how many different five card hands are there? So it's basically um, choose five cards from 52 on cards, uh, which is what we apply accounting rule. So it's 52 factorial over um, parentheses 52 minus 5 um, parentheses factorial times 5 factorial. So this is the answer of the first question, which is just um, counting. So and then the second question is, what is the probability of you um, in five cards hand uh, you have uh, three of a kind? So um, first we are finding how many ways are there to have three of a kind. So um, we just require exactly three cards of the same number, but not four cards of the same number. So first thing we're gonna do is uh, find three position in the five uh, the five cards hand. So um, how many ways are there to find three position in out of a five? Which is we apply counting rule again is five three, and then um, we're gonna uh, choose uh, one number from uh, thirteen numbers. So there. Is the, the how many ways to um just pick one out of th uh, thirteen is thirteen, and then what we do is find out how many ways to assign three um cards of the four cards uh, with the same number. So uh you know we in one number we have four cards um spades, club, hearts, and um diamonds. So we only need three of them. So how the uh, the ways to um assign three of the four cards to the um three undesigned um position is um four factorial over um four minus three factorial, which is four factorial. This is the ways to assign three of the four cards to um three position. So um 
So let's write it out. So it's 5 over 3 times uh, 13 and times 4 factorial. So here, um, we already um, p uh, take three numbers. So there is two left. So the two numbers could be anything other than the number we picked. So there are actually 48 of mm, choices left for the uh, fourth card. So times 48. And for the last card, there is 47 choices. And then um, we actually over counted um, the unordered um, hands five times. So uh, we we're gonna divide this whole thing by um, five factorial, right? So this is how how many ways to have um, three of a kind. Then the probability of um, having three of a kind is um, the specific case all the way over um, the sample space, which is um, how many ways to have uh, four cards in total. So divided by 52, uh, five, counting five. So um, this is the probability of uh, having three of a kind.